Hello and welcome to today's video. On an explore we came to a small town called Shillingstone. It earned the title of the bravest village in Britain because of the sheer amount of residents who put their hands up, feet forward to volunteer to fight in World War I. In Shillingstone there is a station that still survives today on the former Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway, now part of a beautiful walk called the North Dorset Trailway. The train station opened on Monday the 31st of August 1863 and closed Sunday 6th of March 1966, running for over a century. When we arrived it was open to have a look around. A lovely place to visit and have a cup of tea on one of the carriages and to experience this station from the past today. Shillingstone is home to the largest maypole in Dorset at 86 feet high. Today was supposed to be an explore due to bad weather predicted, but with the magnets in the boot of the car, I couldn't resist the opportunity to go for a dip. So let's get on to the intro of our short magnet fishing adventure. Hello, welcome to Tow Path Dippers. Got out for an explore. I'm with Mad Atta and George. Uh, it's a bit overcast, a bit cloudy. Come out for a little bit of an explore and we've gone and found ourselves a nice little spot so come and join us on the first cast. With the recent downpours the river levels have risen high. With a very strong current we attempted to dip with the magnet being pulled further down river and harder to pull in and keep it at the bottom. We found pieces of chain link fence and several scuff clamps. Little bits of wire here and little bits of wire there. I was concerned I could get my magnet stuck to the underside of the bridge. I heard George say he'd found something. I packed my magnet away and went over to see what George had found. Let's see what George has found. I don't know. Anyone else might be able to tell us what that is? Oh, there's a there's writing on it. Hubcap. That's not a hubcap. No. Oh, no. Oh, we'll have to get that picked up because there's writing on it. Yeah. I think it says it's a Alderidge. Yeah, or something. What we'll have to do is get that cleaned up, get it, have a check out. It looks like it's a cap to something. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's from a steel drum. Or, a, yeah, it could be from a steel drum. Yeah. Uh, if you know, let us know in the comments. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Right. So we thought we'd come and try something a bit different. We thought we'd try a bit of forestry magnet fishing. Something a bit different than your usual bridges and towpaths and footpaths. We thought that we would go and try a bit of forestry dipping. All right, let's go for the first cast, see what we can find. And the first thing I found was straight up and over a tree. <laughs> Shall we try that again without uh, loving the trees? Let's try a bit of a side swipe. There we go. Wow. Oh yeah. What you got? You got a metal rock? Oh yeah. Oh, 
Right, and on that one, some metal shrapnel. Got some more magnetic sticks. <laughs> oh, and George has got his first find here. It looks like to be a bit of metal strap. We got a metal strap. Yeah, a little bit of strapping. Oh, and I just got my first find of the day. And I got. Oh, it looks like I got a dumbbell. Whoa. Yeah, I've actually got someone's dumbbell. Possibly. That's quite interesting. I might actually take that properly, have a look. Because I do know the bar shot comes out like that. All right, so we'll keep that. We'll get that cleaned up and then we'll have a proper look at it later. All right. Uh, George has just got himself a nail. I suppose that while we're here though, and we're under the trees, we can actually get shelter if it does tinkle down again because he's been on and off all day. <laughs> oh, and I just uh, gonna rotated the. Uh, Camera and we got a bar with a circular duberfurkin on it. And I remember rightly, I think that these are uh, anchor points. Cast iron anchor point. <laughs> and a bit of metal sheeting. Oh, I stood on the rope. I suppose that we got all sorts of things there. We had an overbridge spot. Oh, nice. We've had a forestry dip. So we might possibly have one more location because I normally do three. Just depending on time, weather, and everything else. What? Yeah. <laughs> Just park on someone's driveway. <laughs> Yeah. Is it private? I think so, but I think you're allowed to go to the top. Permissive. Yeah. Alright, what we got on this one? We got Hooli Metal. Uh, metal banding, magnetic rock, and a bit of silvery metal. Yeah. yeah. Bloody bushes in the way. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, bring a trimmer. Kind of tag. Oh, George is going to find a, a metal tag. That's quite interesting. I'll put that in there so we don't lose it. 
because it's small. Alright, I think that's as safe as I can go. Right, and we have a knobbly bent bit of metal and a bit of wire. I got George giving me a wash. Uh, it's probably the most awkwardest spot we've been to. There's no need to brag, George. Oh, what we got? Oh, we got more solid holy metal. But that side's got stone in it, that side's holy. Quite heavy, too. No. Alright. And oh, I got myself a bike pedal. Oh, lovely. Ugh. lovely jubbly. Yeah. <laughs> this is fantastic, this is. Hold on. I'll move out the way, George. Yeah. Oh, God. Oof, and I'm in an unstable ground. Well, we did retrieve something off of it. Oh, we look at that, the traditional magnet. Uh, Bucket handle. Mm, that one, bit of shale. Anything? Did you get anything? Nope. Alright, and on that one, that's well, interesting. Wonder what that could be. Oh, I think I've just got myself a trowel. <laughs> I think I've just got a trowel. Right, a couple more casts, and I'll move spots. What you got? You got a tool as well. That looks like a chisel, doesn't it? 
Oh, what's that you got? I have no idea. If anyone can tell me what that is, please do. Alright, last one at this spot for me. Yeah. Yeah, whatever I keep latching onto this in front of me, as I'm pulling on it, it's pulling under my feet on the bank. <laughs> right, and on that one, we've got a big bit of cast, banding, and some nails. Right, I'll get back to you in a minute. George has got something now. No, one, just like you've got. Oh, a bit of chain. George has got some chain. And part of a bike. <laughs> and part of a bike frame. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. That's a bit of an odd shape, isn't it? Yeah. All right. We'll get back to you in a minute. Yeah. Dabbling a break because I'm not as nimble as everybody else. And I've come across this in the bushes. It seems to be bagged, sealed with wire. We can focus. Hmm. What a strange thing to find. I'm sorry, Alex. There's one jar I will not be opening and sniffing. That's Alex from Sleep for Dippers. I'm going to leave that there where I found it, where it's safe. As you can see, what? Nice. Ah. Let's just get away, away from this lorry. Yeah. What's that, George? Mm -hmm. right. uh, George and I are having some of our last casts of the day. Uh, Oh, it just looks like he's just pulled out a, f a fire grill. <laughs> Had an absolutely fantastic day with uh, discovering Dorset with Mad Hatter. Thanks, Carl. Um, had some quite interesting finds, actually. What I might do is get some pictures up, which might explain them a little bit better. And for some reason, when I come on camera, every single car wants to come past. Yeah. Uh, we hope you enjoyed your... I hope you... I, 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 Thank you for joining us on a magnet fishing adventure. If you do like the video, please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll get more videos out to you soon. Have a great day.